Hello everyone. Um, as you can see here, we've got a chicken. And it's a 1.234 kg, which is an ideal size really for the Kasori. I mean, it's, we don't know what the Kasori looks like. Oh, we've not got the crisper plate in there. But we're gonna cook that in here. Now it says on there, it should cook. I've read it somewhere in about an hour, but it will do. That's gonna cook in here easy. Let me uh, just undo it and have a look and I'll bring you back. Right, we've got the chicken inside. We're not using the crisper plate and I've just smothered it with a little bit of extra virgin oil. Uh, honestly, the more we cook these chickens, I feel you just can't go wrong. I'm not even using a crisper plate. I'm putting it in the bottom so it sits lower so it doesn't dry the top. But I'll keep my eye on it. But, um, you know, this is not going to take an hour, is it? It's not. Um, people will tell me you should have done this, should have done that, no doubt. But it works like this. So what we'll do, we'll put it in there. And I'll plug it in and get it switched on. Right, we're plugged in, ready to go. Let's get switched on. And what we're going to do, chicken, 220 minutes. It's easy, isn't it? But I think what we will do... I'm going to try it on roast so it's hot for 10 minutes and then I'll turn it down and I think that's the way to go but let's come on let's see what happens right I'll bring you back in 10 minutes well it's had its 10 minutes on uh, roast and I can hear it sizzling like a madman in there can you you must be able to hear that that's nice color already so now we'll go on to air fryer and we'll do 200 so i'm not looking in the camera again terrible i am um yeah let's go for it we'll put 40 minutes 240 minutes and I'll keep my eye on it. It may need it, it might not. We'll see how it goes. I'll just bring you back. Right, we've got 34 minutes left on the timer. So let's have a look at the chicken. I feel I'll probably turn this down now. Oh, Lord, it's a lovely colour. And I don't want to dry it out on the top. You can hear that. That's cooking beautiful. Right. I'm going to turn that down. No, not all grim, down. You fool. I'm going to go 180 actually. Turn it down to 180. And I'll keep my eye on it. But I thought I'd just show you that because it can get a little drier on the top or, you know, I like the colour on the top. And that looks not, I'll just show you again. It's ridiculous, isn't it? But look. It's a nice colour. Makes you feel better. So let's... Yeah, we'll turn it down now to 180. And I'll keep my eye on it. And if I do anything different, I'll bring you back. Right, we've got 15 minutes left at 180. And what I'm going to do... We'll have a look at the temperature. Now, it's not going to be on temperature. I know that. But I thought, let's just do it and see how close we are. Because I've found temperature increases in just a few minutes with the air fryer you know you can be a good few degrees off and in only like five minutes you can be bang on now you should be able to see that gauge now I don't know it's not light enough mate is it I'm gonna have to show it yeah I thought if I leave you to put it up there you'd be able to see it I know it's not a good place to put it really but right we've got 15 minutes left at 180 Let's have this out. Let's see what sort of temperature we're looking at now. Now can you see, no you can't see it now. I'm useless with this camera mate. It's got to be 85. And I tell you what, look, 76, that's to be expected I think. I'll try it down there. 
look nowhere near obviously but it just shows you that you'll you'll see another another 15 minutes and I, I don't think we're going to be a long way off but we'll keep trying but i just thought this was a good way of showing you but as i say it's 62 there it wants to be 85 all right let's get it back in you can see how it's cooking you can't see very well but i'm doing my best let's get it back in right carry on 180 another 15 minutes and then we'll see Right, we've got five minutes to go on the time, so let's see how we're going. As it comes, we'll try the temperature. Get into the fleshy part. As I say, chicken's got to be 85. That's reading 80, look. So we're not a long way away, or 81. So we're not a long way away. And that's about what I'd expect. That's gone through a bit far, a bit far. That's reading 79 there. Try another place down here. See, we're not quite on temperature yet, but I'm happy with that. Now what I will do, Stop the legs drying out. I think I'm going to put a bit of foil around the legs. And that will just, um, obviously you've got to wrap it round because it will take off, won't it? You don't want that sucking up to the element so wrap that round so it can't come off just lay that on there and same with this side just took it round so it can't come off right that's that's all i've done i mean really that might be over the top but let's try it right bring you back in five minutes In theory, that's the time up, but if it's not enough, it'll just go back in and it's no problem. Let's get the gauge on there. Right, you can see that now. Get that into a fleshy part. Yeah, it's not gonna be hot enough, I don't think. I want 85 before I'm happy. I didn't think, well, I thought it might reach temperature, but it's always, well, for me, I'm no expert, mate. It's all a bit of a guessing game, but, as you see, that's not really reached temperature, but, but what I would say to you, we're five degrees short, and it can soon reach that five degrees. It won't take it very long. Oh, you see, it's all right there, because that's, yeah, that's reached temperature there. It's just in the main body. It needs a little longer. So I'm going to put that back in. I think another 10 minutes would be plenty at 180. Let's get that back in. 10 minutes, 180. Let's go for it. And I will keep my eye on that. Probably give it five minutes and have a look. Yeah, this is just so we can see. I mean, once you get the right time for the right way, you can just switch it on and leave it. But this is just to see how it goes. Um, the kitchen does look a little bit different, doesn't it? There's a good reason for that. I'm doing this chicken while we're on holiday. See, we're in a caravan. And um, so we're not cooking an old meal with this chicken. What we're doing, we're getting this chicken ready so we can take it with us today. Well, take the legs and some bits with us today and have it with some bread and butter or in a cob and a bit of salad. We're not sure exactly yet. And then, um, We'll have the main carcass tonight when we get home, probably have a few chips. You know, when we're on holiday, I think this is the way to go. It's all right, you um, you go out and buy fish and chips every day, it costs you more money than your holiday. It's just the way things are. Right, I'll bring you back. Right, now I've 
took a video of this it didn't work for some unknown reason i still can't work the camera i'm brilliant aren't i what it is it had another five minutes and it reached temperature it went over we want 85 a lot of it was 90 and above but all of it was at least 85 well it was over it was all near a 90 so i were happy with that um i showed you the readings and everything but like i say camera problems again you can't win so we took it so we're happy with that now we've took it out and it's just resting at the minute and as i say we shall uh, cut this up and take some of it with us today for food and then we'll have the main part tonight when we get back probably do a few chips in the air fryer we're not sure yet chips and peas i think will be favorite we'll see we'll see how we go but just taking that with us as i was saying in the last bit of film it's all right buying fish and chips but if you keep doing that every day it costs you more than your holiday don't it we can't be doing that so this this will be nice i you know this will be lovely and it means we can go out this morning and we don't have to come back for food until later on this evening so this is going to be ideal this is this is the way we want to do it well this is the way we do it we've done it for years we're not great lovers of buying loads of food out it just gets too expensive and you don't know what you're getting half the time but we know don't we that this chicken's going to be perfect it'll be lovely and we've got a salad and what have you to go with it so that'll be fine anyway if this video's been any use to you we keep trying don't we uh, as i say please like and subscribe and if you'd like to get in touch with me i'll get back to you so anyway that's all for now folks see ya